and gentlemen welcome back to your channel Sidescrape here today we're going to be looking at um, how to improve our WN8 statistics uh, last time we looked at um, how to improve it by damage this time it's about know your tank and what I mean by that is every tank plays differently so you've got different traverse speeds of your vehicle the turret different armor You've got different angling for you can do for each tank. Uh, different you medium tank, so you're pretty fast. You need to be in there. Light tank, you need to be scouting, doing hardly any damage, etc., etc. Now, if you're the kind of guy who comes in, you see that you've got I don't know 15 tanks, and you decide you're going to do your times two on all tanks. What do you think the damage will be to your WN8 statistics? Will you be able to? I just ask yourself this question or questions. Will you be able to get your times two on your first attempt? I don't know. Sometimes it can take me five games before I can get the, the like a really good win, or sometimes two games, sometimes three games, whatever. Um, in that time, you've done your fifteen tanks, say an average of three. What's that? Forty-five games you've played, which is probably your entire night already taken up doing your times twos or whatever. So the best thing what I want to start doing now or looking at is choose either three, one, three, or five tanks. Excuse me a second. <coughs> Lovely. One, three, or five tanks to play that entire day, and I'm going to explain why. So, first off, what I want to do is look at some specific tanks. I'm going to look at tiers five and six. Right. Now, if I'm choosing these tiers, because you want to try to keep your tier into the same level, so then you know if you're at tier five or tier six, you're going to be coming up against a T29, so you know where to penetrate them. You're going to be coming up against a KV1, you'll know where to penetrate it. If I'm choosing a tier five and a tier 10, then it's such a diverse range of tanks I'm going to be facing against. So if I try to keep within a couple of tiers, it's going to reduce the scope overall of the amount of enemies and the the amount of times I know that I'm going to have to get penetration via Capola, I'm going to have to get penetration via low glasses, I can shoot through the etc, etc, etc. Now again, we're going to break that down even further. This time, I'm going to choose heavy tanks. I'm not going to choose a medium tank because that's a completely different place down to heavy tanks. So I'm going to try to keep it in one group or one style. Okay. So then, I've got all these tanks here that I can play. And I'm going to just try to choose five of these tanks only. If I choose a light tank, a medium tank, and a heavy tank at tier 3, tier 7, and tier 10, the range is just too diverse. I'm not going to be able to, to play it properly. We're going to look at some other things as well um, to know about your armor and how to angle it better. There's also like your shell travel time. If I'm taking out the KV2, for example, it's got 152mm gun and it's high explosive, so the shell has a long time to travel before it can hit the target, while the KV1. It's got a nice little gun and it can hit the target pretty fast. So we're going to take out the KV-1. Now all the tanks are quite similar to the KV-1. Uh, there's nothing on that. No modules. Let's look for some within modules. Oh, T1 Heavy. I guess we've got any crew for these vehicles. Isn't that a kick in the butt? No! No! No, can't do that one. Can't do that one. Why right then? So, right, I'm gonna have to just change this up slightly. I'm gonna switch up to medium tanks because I know at least I've got the medium tanks for this. I'm gonna choose tiers five and six. So, Cromwell B is similar to the Rudy uh, T34. Let's take this one as well. That's quite similar. Uh, can't believe that's classed as a medium tank. Seriously. There we go, take the T-34. And what else shall we take? Tanklet is quite similar to the tanks. So I'll have a maximum of five. There we go, that'll do. Or four. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! What did I just miss? Alright, no, never mind. So I've got four tanks that are pretty similar. They're all pretty nippy. They've all got really fast gun loads. Loading time and fire range. Uh, so the shell travel time is more or less going to be the same for each one of these tanks. This means that it's, I've eliminated me uh, going out in random tanks at all times. With just four tanks, I'm able to control 
my gameplay and my game style for this entire day. Now, you might be saying, well, that's, that doesn't work for me. Well, just consider this. Like I said before, if you're doing your times two multiple tanks, you're going to end up with frustration of where you can't get the game first time or get the win the first time. So, do you know, you're looking at, I don't know, I want to get to my favourite tank. I want to play the Rudy, but I've got to do these seven tanks beforehand. Uh, now, I've only got four tanks. I'm going to play them, and I'm going to know each one. So, let's look at some of the, the information. Right, so... I'm just going to go to the tank compare, um, just for a couple of reasons. First is, first off, I want to find out what my shell travel speed is. So you can see that they're quite similar. Um, gosh, I've got what tanks here, which now? So I've got the Cromwell, the Rudy, and the T-34. So the, the Cromwell fires at 785, Rudy's 950, and the T-34. So they've got quite similar reload times and speed. Um, even though there's one's a tier 5 and the other's a tier 6. The average damage 2,676 average damage or um, damage a minute against 1,800 against 1,210. The reloads are quite similar. The accuracy is quite similar and the aim time is quite similar. Same with the depression on the guns. Yeah, Give or take a little bit. That means that if I take out one tank and I get killed and I go to the next tank um, but with the tanks both being similar, I can play them in exactly the same play style. Because the armour really, or generally, isn't that much difference when you're in a medium tank at these tiers. They don't really have any armour. If I was taking out, say, the KV-1, and let me just think what else can I take out. Take out the USA light tanks. See the T thirty seven is a massive diverse change here. So you can see from there where's the shell travel times. Apologies about seven eight five, eight fifty, nine seventy five, quite similar. Damage range. The play styles are gonna to have to be different. So fifteen rounds a minute, fifteen rounds, eighteen rounds. But you know that a light tank you're gonna to have to be scouting. Heavy tank, you're going to have to be brawling, and the medium tank, you're going to be trying to flank. So that's like the play style, so you've got to think about it. You've got the heavy tank, which is the normal infantry tro troops, the light tank, which is the cavalry, and then you've got the these guys here in the medium tanks, which is, I don't know, what would you look at the medium tanks as? Some sort of fast moving mechanised unit tries to get around them. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. Let's look at a quick game. Right, guys, then just to finish off, um, we're going to keep this video pretty short and sweet, really. There's no point in expanding on it. I'm going to try to do the series so we may get some five minute, six minute, three minute videos going and so maybe some tips and tricks. I think we're going to take out the tier 10 medium tanks. I'll be taking out a group. Same with the heavies. Try to keep them to the, the same level, really, to all tanks. Um, let me know what your feedback on this one, uh, your thoughts on it. Uh, it's quite important for me to make sure I'm your audience, you guys, my old yarns. Uh, I find these videos helpful. Just If you don't agree with this, just give it a try. Just once or twice, maybe like two days worth. Give it a try just playing a similar sort of tanks, like one, two, three, four, or maximum five tanks. Taking those tanks out. Just see how your playstyle changes and your W8 increases. Uh, each of the tanks as well, you're going to be looking at a similar sort of damage level requirements um, for the T-34 for example as we would do with the Rudy and the Cromwell about 750 to 1000 damage and you get some really high stats, get up to 2000 you get in purple statistics. Uh, just have a look, have a game and see what difference it can make for you. Take care guys.